Sweaty Cop and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. I'm Chris Housen, filling in for JP Mustanza. Today is Tuesday, September 20th. Now let's get to the news. A female tourist from Saudi Arabia has been injured after the ATV she was riding struck a power pole on a small street in Chalong. The 43-year-old woman was one of four tourists, including a child, riding on the ATV when the accident happened. Rescue workers recovered the woman and transported her to Chalong Hospital for treatment of a chest injury sustained in the collision. No other injuries were reported. In response, the mayor of Chalong posted a notice urging people to exercise extra care while operating any type of vehicle. Community members in Kaolak are calling for measures to reduce the speed of motorists along the main highway after another foreigner was killed trying to cross the road. The 40-year-old Swedish man was killed after he was hit by a Honda sedan while trying to cross the highway at the yellow flashing lights at night. This comes less than a month after a French tourist was killed while trying to cross at a pedestrian area on the same road. Although the road is technically a highway, the speed limit through the area is 70 km per hour by law. However, as the road has recently been widened, drivers are more likely to maintain highway speeds while traveling through the coastal town. Now community members are looking to officials to come up with new strategies to reduce the speed of vehicles and keep both locals and tourists safe. Thailand's public health minister has slammed a proposal to relist parts of the cannabis plant as a narcotic, saying there is no evidence of improper use under existing laws as claimed by the policy's critics. The comment was in response to a petition signed by 1,363 doctors calling on the government to recriminalize cannabis use and possession mere months after being decriminalized in the kingdom. Instead, the minister said his department is willing to explain any concern expressed by the group, noting that there are already rules which prevent cannabis smoking in public and sales were already restricted to individuals over the age of 20, further stating that relisting cannabis as a narcotic would be ridiculous, as they haven't observed any negative impact thus far that is beyond their control. The minister went on to express confidence that Parliament won't reject their cannabis bill again once lawmakers' concerns have been addressed. And according to a poll conducted of the Phuket News readers, two-thirds of people agree that the closing time of nightlife venues in Patong should be extended to 4 a.m. The poll, which was launched Monday last week and closed Friday at midnight, was created following the tourism and sports minister's request for local media to conduct polls on the matter to gather more public opinion data before he presents his proposal to the CCSA, the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Public Health and the Ministry of the Interior next month. In total, nearly half of all respondents supported the late closing time, saying it'll stop the facilitation payments and many venues close later than 2 a.m. anyway while a further 20% voted yes, but only if it was for Bangalore Road. However, objection to the motion was still considerable, with almost 30% saying no, 2 a.m. is late enough. Of note, only 4% of respondents identified as Thai nationals. And that is all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For more on all these stories, visit thephuketnews.com. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.